Hi, so I'm joined by Ed. Ed is the founder of Otto, and Otto is a tinnitus management app. Hi, Ed. Hi, Will. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Um, could you maybe just start by saying a little bit about yourself? Sure. So uh, I'm, I'm Ed. Thanks for the introduction. Um, I'm a doctor. I've been a doctor for five years. Um, in my last year of medical school, I joined the Royal Air Force um, and I've since spent um, a number of years training with them. Um, aside from my time in the military, I've also um, done two years of surgical training um, and that's where we are up until now. Um, other members of the team who unfortunately couldn't join us today, we've got George Leidig, um, who uh, is a doctor who's doctor in the Navy. Um, we know each other from, from, med from medical school. Um, and we've also got Jamil as well, who's a who's a um, an academic ENT surgeon working in Birmingham. Cool, brilliant. Would it be all right if you say a bit about now what is Otto and what is the problem that you're addressing? Sure. Yeah. So uh, George and I, during our time in the military, uh, exposed a large number of patients with um, hearing loss and also tinnitus. So tinnitus is a is a really common condition affecting one in ten people. Um, that is uh, essentially experiences a ringing in the ears or a hissing in the ears. And it's caused, most common cause is noise exposure. So as you can imagine in the military, there's a large number of patients that have exposure to loud noises, explosions, um, firing weapons, that sort of thing. And as such, it's a common problem. And in speaking to these patients, we realized that firstly, there's no cure. Um, treatment is very complex and difficult to access. So on the NHS, you can wait maybe five, six months sometimes to access treatment. Um, and because this whole sort of pathway became, it quickly became very compl complicated for people and it's difficult for people to access treatment, we thought, okay, the, you know, we can do better for these people. There must be something that, that, we, can, that we can help them with. Um, so we decided to bring the treatment to them um, and put the treatment onto a mobile phone. And that's how, that's how Otto was born. Awesome. And um, so it affects a huge number of people, of course, uh, tinnitus. Like what is the um, real user base that you're targeting at the moment? Uh, so the so tinnitus affects one in 10 people. So it's, it's a really common condition, but it also is more common as we age. So I mentioned noise exposure is the most common cause of, of tinnitus, but also um, because it's associated with hearing loss, it's also associated with, uh, and, and, and hearing loss becomes more prevalent as we get older, it's associated with age as well. So we're targeting um, a slightly older age group with, with our product. Um, and that's because of the, the demographic and the spread of, of tinnitus. Cool. And um, so a lot of people uh, maybe watching or listening to this will either have tinnitus or know people with it and um, maybe have some experience of how uh, they personally manage it. Um, how does the tinnitus management product work for you? Sure. So there's, um, I mentioned there's no cure for tinnitus, but there is effective treatment. Um, so there is one key treatment that has been shown by the science to be effective in the management of tinnitus, and that's something called cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT. So CBT works by um, changing your perception about how you think about the tinnitus. Um, so tinnitus affects all aspects of life. It could prevent people from sleeping, prevent people from concentrating. And often that can make the experience of tinnitus a lot worse. And what CBT does is it helps to interrupt those negative thought cycles and interrupt those um interrupt those those experiences that people have and change the reframe the way they think about it so what we wanted to do is we we, we wanted to put a, a comprehensive cbt program uh into uh, into a digital platform as a digital therapeutic and the way that um the user will uh, the way that the, the person the person with tinnitus will will, in, will interact with this is uh, every day they'll do a short therapy session 10 to 15 minutes um, of pre-recorded content um, and they'll work their way through a, a, a approximately a month-long course of therapy. Cool. So it's, um, yeah, it's great to learn a bit more about how um, it actually helps people manage it. But then as a company, how does, um, what, what is Otto's business model? So um, we, this treatment is available for a mobile app, a digital platform that you can either download onto a mobile phone or a, a tablet. And um, this is free to download, and then we'll charge a subscription for users to pay for the premium content or the premium therapy. Cool. And when you actually have, say, uh, successfully managed uh, tinnitus, what kind of impact does that have on someone's life? So I mentioned earlier, tinnitus has a huge impact on people's lives. It's really intrusive, very unpleasant condition. And um, it, this, this, they can be affected in a whole host of different ways. 
So if you can imagine um, constantly having a ringing in your ear, a loud ringing in your ear, it can make it very difficult to do even the most basic tasks. So for example, concentrating on something can be very difficult. Um, trying to just relax, um, it just trying to sit down and, and not, not do anything or watch TV, it can make it very difficult. Sleeping can be very problematic, but also interaction as well. So communication with people can be difficult because the tinnitus is often associated with hearing loss. Um, so these people are affected in, in, in a whole host of different ways. Now, um, as you can imagine, that would probably make, um, have a quite a significant impact on someone's quality of life. So people with tinnitus, their, their quality of life is going to be reduced. And we want to, by reducing the impact of the tinnitus on their life, we want to improve their quality of life um, by, 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 improving, by improving how they cope with those things. Excellent. Now, so you've been working on this um, product for quite a while now. What kind of you know, key milestones and stuff have you hit so far, would you say? Yeah, so we've, we've not been working on it that long. We've been working on it uh, probably about seven months. Um, we started work on it in March, I think. Um, now, we released the uh, public version of the beta in August, um, and we've been testing that. Um, and we're planning to release a commercial, a commercial version of the beta in, in January 2021. Awesome. And what, what's your kind of priorities at the moment? What's keeping you busy? Uh, just a product. We, we just want to, we're, we're focusing on building a product that people will love, that people will come back to. Um, and that will help people. Um, we're, that's that's our that's our priority at the moment. Um, once I think we get the product right, then we can move on to the other things. Um, but as the, the, the main focus is the product. Speaking maybe of the other things, looking more to the like medium long term, like what if things go to plan? What's you know what's the ideal horizon for you? What's the road ahead? Sure. So we've we've, we've sort of. Um, as I said, we're focusing on getting the product right. And once we've got the product right, we can start to look forward to, to other things. Um, we're focusing on the UK market primarily, um, and we're focusing on a, a, a direct to consumer business model primarily as well. But as you can imagine, tinnitus is a huge problem for the NHS as well. So the NHS spends um, £750 million a year approximately uh, on tinnitus management. There are over a million GP appointments a year for, um, for people with tinnitus. And it costs the UK economy something like 2.7 billion. Um, so we think that there is, uh, we think that there is, there's, there is potential for a scalable B two B direct business, B two B business model as well, where we can sell this product for use within the NHS, enabling people to access it for free. Um, and that sort of sort of comes into with comes into um, the bigger picture of this. Um, tinnitus is not only an individual problem, but it's a societal problem as well. It costs it cost society a huge amount of money, and, and it's because it's so common. We think that by selling to the NHS, we can we can help to help to solve that problem as well. I suppose next steps after that are um, uh, go, uh, expanding to an international market. Um, you know, it's 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 one of the sort of the main reasons we set out uh, with 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 Otto was to reduce um, reduce health inequalities. You know, it's at the moment you can only access tinnitus treatment, um, and this is not just the case in the UK, but worldwide. You can only access effective uh, treatment for tinnitus if you pay, um, and we don't think that's fair. Um, tinnitus treatment is very, very expensive, so we want to make this something. We want to look into making this something that um, that a lot more people can access. Amazing! Yeah, really exciting. I look forward ahead. Um, I think this is something that's obviously going to have well, personally relate to a huge number of people. Um, how might people actually get involved in making Otto a success? Um, you're talking whether that's as customers or investors, mm. or kind of hat they might wear. Sure, yeah. So the the first thing I'd encourage people to do is if you if you have tinnitus, if you know someone that has tinnitus, or you know someone that has tinnitus, please get in touch. Um, we're always interested in, in speaking to you. Um, and I'd encourage people to go to our website, which is ottohealth.ai, and you can download the uh, you can download for free the beta version of the product. Um, it's free; anyone can try it out. Um, uh, we just ask that you, you, we, um, if if we do get in touch to ask for feedback, um, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Um, now, any healthcare professionals interested, um, please again do reach out. We're look, we're always looking to, um, to 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 speak to and hear different people's thoughts on the product, um, particular audiologists and, and ENT doctors. But also GPs as well. Um, so GPs encounter tinnitus a lot, and we know that GPs can, can struggle with tinnitus management. Um, and we'd like to hear your thoughts on that as well. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me today. It's been great to learn about Otto, and um, really exciting stuff ahead. Thank, thank you very much, Will. Much appreciated.